Everybody got trespass, no bandos, and I can't tell. Who did I say I ain't whipping the bell? Hell is you doing? My nigga be. Am I allowed to? Yes. One of the big things we've done in the last couple of years is developing and expanding on the archetype system. And in 2K18, the archetype system will be expanded and deeper than it's ever been before. Oh wow, 2K18. Before we get into 2K18, I think one of the biggest challenges we faced this year in 2K17 was just balancing shooting. So we went back, reviewed all the past shooting systems in our games, all the way back to 2K11, took all the good things that we liked about all those different systems, and we put together what I think is the best system to date for 2K18. And we're so excited for you guys to try it out in September. Yeah, we talked to some of the devs and they were hinting about certain things, but I want to get the lowdown from you. And let's start with archetypes because the devs mentioned that there'll be a strong focus again in next year's game. Absolutely. I think one of the things that were so special about archetypes to have these different play styles was something that the tournament, you really saw these players playing these different roles and it really made the game more competitive. Now, balancing the archetypes, that's the bigger challenge, that's the bigger question, and uh, I don't envy the gameplay team for going in there and trying to figure out how to balance these things, but we've heard a lot of community feedback. I think uh, we're in a good spot in terms of where we're heading down the road with archetypes. And speaking of community feedback, we've heard a lot about shooting, and Mike Wang mentioned a little bit about what's going to be changing with shooting next year. Yeah. So shooting something that the community has been talking about all year long. I think ever since the introduction of green releases, a lot of fans have a lot of different kind of feedback about that. I think they've kind of learned to use it as a crutch. Like if I learn my release and I think the bar is filled up, I should make that shot 100% of the time. But we were seeing a lot of really high shooting percentages, high 60s, high 70s, even some of the high 80s and 90s in Pro-Am. I think when we start going forward into 2K18, I'm really glad that the producers are looking towards what made shooting fun and realistic in previous games, because there has been a lot of, you know, differences in game by game and how shooting works. But I'm really excited to see what they come up with in 2K. I was good, y'all, man. I know y'all just saw that video and 2K starting to tell us more and more about 2K18. And I mean, they have to tell us about 2K18 because there's people that spent $150 on this game. And if they can't know exactly what this game gonna be about till it comes out, I know for a fact they're gonna be mad. Now, I didn't pre order this game for $150 because I'm not crazy, you know what I'm saying? But there's people who did to get all those benefits that they're gonna get with the $150 version. So, so it's only fair that they start talking about what they're gonna be adding into the game. Now, the first thing we're gonna be talking about is the archetypes. Now, the archetypes, they've been saying that they wanna expand the archetype system. Now, this could mean that they're going to add more archetypes or they're going to allow you to combine two archetypes. I wouldn't like to combine three archetypes because my play is going to be too OP and well-rounded. Now, if you add two archetypes and combine them together, you won't have to be stuck on only be able to shoot the ball, only be able to dribble, only be able to dunk. You know, you're just going to be able to, like, say you add your playmaker and then combine it with your, say, your sharpshooter. Now you could dribble and you could create your own shots. You don't have to wait for somebody to pass you the ball for you to get a wide open three. And now, of course, you know 2K is going to put a limit to this because they don't want your player being too OP. You know what I'm saying? So if this is the way they go, then I would see them adding attribute caps and like limiting your player to certain things. Now for the shooting system for 2K18, they said they're going to go all the way back to 2K11. Combine every 2K they're on to 2K17 get everything they think is positive and then add them up to get a shooting system in 2k18 now i'm not going to doubt 2k on this but this could go either positive or negative like this can end up being way better than what we already have and this could at the same time end up being way worse than what we already have what i think they really need to fix is the shot meter now you could have a full white bar end up missing a shot and then there's times you got a a messed up shot meter like you say your shot is less, less than half of the arm of the shot meter then you end up making that shot I'll be like yo 2k was good with you man like i'll be ready to launch my controller out the window man especially when it's on a game when it's shot bro you miss that on a wide on a wide open white bar bro i know y'all be mad the custom jumpers though they need to stay in the game 2k doesn't need to mess with that part but as long as they finish 
fixing up the shot meter then the shooting part of the game is good now that's all 2k told us about nba 2k 18 i know i've been real inconsistent this week and i'm preparing for some exams next week so as soon as i get that done you know what i'm saying i'll pick it up but i don't need to go on about that because i already know how that goes so we about to hit 500 subscribers man don't forget to like comment subscribe we're trying to hit 1k by the end of the summer man we steady grinding